Hello Capricorn, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, welcome back, okay? All right, Capricorn, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So, um, if you have Capricorn in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you, okay? Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you, okay? All right. Capricorn, please do subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear feedback from my viewers and all of that helps my channel grow. And Capricorn, this video will be published in a full moon in Virgo, okay? Although it's that's the energy that I pretty much focus on, um, still my readings are timeless. So it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video exactly in the moment of that full moon, okay? Best time for you to watch this video is when you come across it. And last but not least, Capricorn, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please be careful with any scams, okay? All right, Capricorn. Here what we have for you. Okay, one more, one more Capricorn. Right, Capricorn. Heart of the matter what this reading will be about for some of you, the current energy that you are dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so we are being guided here to a new beginning. Okay. That's Earth energy right there, just like you. Okay. Something about the confidence. I think you're being guided here to start something new and not to be afraid of doing it. Even if you're just starting off initial steps, small, thinking that you don't have what you truly need to do this, okay? Uh, I think some of you know that already, but some of you need to hear that you shouldn't be afraid or feel that you are lacking something for this new beginning, okay? You, it's it's still in the back burner. It's an idea. It's a project. It's something, okay? The energy that's crossing you, and it's, could, it's challenging you. It's the judgment card, okay? It's a wake-up call for some of you, okay? You're feeling that it's time to do something. Okay? This is in the physical world. It could be financially, uh, it could be a, a job, it could even be a relationship, okay? Take it as a resonance, I only read the energy. But you're being called to do this, to, 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 to take the initial steps for this new beginning, okay? It's like, I think you're you're hearing in the back of your mind something like it's it's getting too late. It's I better start doing something. Okay, but that's sometimes the mind, and the mind can make make us slow down even more. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and show yourself. Okay, the energy that is crowning you in your conscious mind, and you do see clearly, is the Knight of Cups, okay? You are ready for a quest, for a journey, okay? You're ready to take this cup for a new beginning. This is in your mind, okay? You 
maybe even emotionally. You want this fresh new start. The energy that's below you in your subconscious mind and you don't see clearly, but you should because it's what the universe is usually trying to tell us or wants us to see, is the King of Cups. Yeah, strong Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, mostly Scorpio, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. It's water energy, okay? They're telling you here to, to be Try to be more in control of your emotions. Don't let your emotions get in the way here. You're going to have to sit calmly. Even if you are feeling some type of pressure to start something new here. Okay? They need you to be as calm as possible because that's the only way that you are going to be able to think things through better, more clearly. Capricorn, the energy that's behind you and it's pushing you through this is the devil, okay? That's your major arcana, Capricorn energy. Well, for some of you, this could be your recent past. I think some of you have already done some heavy duty inner shadow work and it's what's making you feel this type of pressure in your life to take this initial step for a new beginning. But some of you are cutting out things or maybe one thing that doesn't serve you anymore. Something that you have been bounded to. And now that you are seeing this freedom, you want to take this new beginning. Okay. But I get a sense that most of you have done some type of shadow work. You have seen or have worked with the shadow aspects or the dark side of yourselves. That has also probably helped you release something, even a way of thinking. Okay. The energy that is in front of you, where you're headed to, what is coming towards you or your near future, is the Eight of Swords, you see? You're going to be setting yourself free from something. If you haven't done so yet, you will be doing it soon and I like I said I think it was mostly a way of thinking something in your mind it's what has been keeping you it's been holding you back actually you've been holding yourself back okay so I think you're going to be getting some type of clarity now but for you to be able to do that, this is very important, okay? Don't let your emotions get in the way. This is how you see yourself or how you're responding to the situation. If you do start doing this the way it is being advised here, okay? That's the star, Aquarius energy. There will be some healing and balancing wishes coming into reality, hopes, wish fulfillments. I think you've been hoping and praying for something. This is also being vulnerable. For some of you, being vulnerable is also key. Even though you have to accept that, I mean, stay firm with your emotions, you have to, you have to accept to be vulnerable, okay?
Some of you have been seeing eights. It could be a sign for some of you. But there is a wish fulfillment coming for you. But if you do, release yourself from what is holding you back and doing it in a very, how would I say, in an emotionally balanced way. The energy that is represent, no, it's surrounding you, I'm sorry. And it's influencing you. It's the page of wands. Okay. You want this new beginning. You can feel it. A new passionate beginning. It's having faith also. Okay. Keep having faith. And don't lose hope. Okay. Like I said also, you know, don't be afraid to start small. One step at a time, little by little. And that's why this is very neat. Mastering your emotions as you go through this path. Your hopes and fears is the nine of pentacles, okay? You're hoping to reach this abundance, feeling abundant, happy, joyful, gratitude. Some of you already know how to express gratitude, no matter what, but sometimes we forget. Okay? Don't forget to express gratitude no matter what. How difficult the situation or how hard the path it is to walk okay but keep trusting your intuition and don't just focus on the material and don't forget your spirituality keep trusting your intuition and be very confident but that's you feeling at your best with yourself. That's almost like a pre-empress energy. Very divine feminine energy. And it doesn't matter what gender you are, okay? The outcome or the advice, which I usually take more as advice, the higher front, okay? That's my card of God. I usually take this last card as advice, but it could be both. And this is you, you're stepping up into a very divine masculine energy also to feel it's like. You're becoming your own father to support yourself as a daughter, okay? In a divine masculinity, masculine, masculinity, <laughs> can't speak today. But that's also, you know, like I said, my card of God, it's, it's, it's God is supporting you through this. And they want you to keep having faith. Don't lose your... Don't forget your spirituality and keep trusting in the divine. Even if things don't seem as good right now, or they didn't at some point, you know, all of that's going to clear out. Right now, all this energy with Saturn entering Pisces, it's it's very confusing for all of us okay 
but it's only temporarily. It's it's so that we have to put a little harder work. It, I know it's it's tiring, but uh, there's a reason for for this because Saturn is is the big teacher. So some of you will know exactly what it is according to your situation. Where you have to put more most of your work in. But do keep focusing on your own personal growth and your own spirituality. It's very important and don't lose faith, okay? And I think that you are understanding that just no one else but just yourself who can really do things in life for yourselves, you know, to, to, to make yourself feel worthy and abundant and supported. It's not just yourself, the divine helps you, but if the divine doesn't see that you do that for yourself, then the divine says, oh, well, you see the divine steps back because it sees that if you're in a state of lack, then the divine assumes that you want to be in that state. That's why you also have to be accepting or willing to accept to be vulnerable. Compromise. But at the same time, emotionally stable. as you are going through this journey in your life. Bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. Whatever has been hurting you, causing you some type of what has been keeping you stuck, it's time to release it for those who have not done so yet. Because you do want this new emotional quest. You want this new beginning. You have to heal something first for some of you to then be able to step into this emotional stability for what's coming in, your, in the next chapter of your life. Just keep having faith. Okay? Don't lose your faith. Be patient. Okay? Because there's a new beginning for you. And the divine is helping you. And things might pick up on mental. And you will have victory. Okay? I can go on and on and on. But if you've been feeling lately like things aren't working out, it's part of that Saturnian lessons for some of you. Because it's time. That's why you have that judgment. It's time for you to do this. Change. and releasing for you to be able to achieve that abundance and stability that you are, are hoping for. Okay. All right. Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there for you. Okay. I'm not doing the Demon Tarot uh, this time. I'm not going to do it for a while. I'm going to give it a rest. Uh, I want to focus more on the main spread on the main reading for now i don't want to distract you with additional messages or anything like that 
I think right now it's very important that we just stick to the main energy, okay? But uh, I do wish you all the best luck in the world and a lot of healing and that you can set yourself free so you can take this new... It's a new beginning and it's, it's a lot of good things waiting for you. But uh, keep relying on your spirituality, your religion, your faith, and in yourself. It's very important right now, okay? Even if you feel, feel lonely, because I do get some loneliness. And that's why you also have to be very, very aware of your emotions. Don't let them get in the way, okay? All right. Capricorn, I hope the reading gives you some guidance and answers that you're seeking at this moment of your life. If uh, it does help you or you do enjoy it, please do click the like button and uh, leave me a comment, please. Let me know what you think. And, well, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe. Always be happy if it's very important, okay? And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Capricorn.